welcome to The Stone Report, a time of ministry, news, updates, and exciting information just for you. Now here is Perry Stone. Well, greetings, everyone. We're going to take a few moments for the Stone Report. We hope you download this in, uh, or watch it, I should say. You don't have to download it with some of our ministry updates. First of all, the month of June is almost over, and we're coming into the month of July. I'll be preaching Sunday afternoon at Rod Parsley's camp meeting at 2.30. We'll be doing a, a Warrior Fest right here in Cleveland uh, one weekend in July, and, and then we'll be coming to uh, Louisville, Kentucky. All of that's on our website. Hope you can be a part of that. I do want to remind you that the main event's coming up the 1st of October. On Tuesday night, there will be a big Crab Family reunion right here at the main event, and I'll be ministering that night. Lyndall Cooley will be doing the praise and worship. That's going to be off the chain. I cannot wait for that. Some of my favorite people on all the earth are going to be here. We've got Jensen Franklin, Rod, uh, Ron Carpenter, and also John Kilpatrick coming to speak. We have Pam's Fall Festival coming up on Saturday. So don't miss it. Make plans to be here. We have people that have never been to a main event. They said, we are not going to miss this one because that is a great lineup and we're looking forward to it. So we we'll hope you'll do that. We also want to make mention, if we come into your area to preach, uh, Griffin, Georgia, Willis, Texas, um, Louisville, Kentucky, Huntington, West Virginia, we're going to have these Bibles with us. This is our New Testament commentary, and I will have a, a signing day. Usually on Sunday afternoon, we'll sign. I had a place made right here where you can put your full information in, and I sign them here. So bring your Bibles to the book signings. And, and, and if we do a one-night service, it's harder to do because we're in and out. But if we do a weekend or we're doing a full service or if you're coming here for the main event, something of that nature, we'd love to be able to do that. Now, this book has been the most popular, most requested prophecy book in the history of the ministry. We're grateful for that. And 80% of this I've never dealt with before. One thing I did in this book was many of you know that over the years I have taken some of the presidents, President Clinton, President Bush, President Obama, and now President Trump, and we've done the half Torah readings, and also we do the numbers 43, 44, 45, to see from the Hebrew alphabet if there is a prophetic implication to their uh, administration. Now, this does not work with every president. It only works during prophetic season. So what I did, I put a whole section in this book on how I do that, how that works. You're going to understand because people ask me all the time, how did you know that? How did you figure that out? It's all from a Hebraic kind of rabbinical perspective. And in the West, we don't do it. In fact, people in the West think it's crazy. A lot of them do because they don't understand it. So I knew that people needed more understanding. There's also an angel of numbers. He's over numbers uh, in, in Scripture and in prophecy. And he's mentioned in the book of Daniel. We talk about him. We talk about the Jewish month of Iyar and how important it is. We talk about prophecies in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the battle over the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, the era of the Candelabra, six woes for America from, uh, from uh, Isaiah, uh, America, the New Roman Empire. We talk about all the patriarchs in the Bible like Abraham, Job, uh, you know, even Jacob, these men gave prophecies that most people don't know. They read right over top of them. We talk about that. This is a great book, and I'm not saying it because we authored it, because it took the Holy Spirit's inspiration, so he gets all the glory for it. But get this book, Spirits in High Places, America's Leaders in God's Province, just as soon as you possibly can. It's very important. And finally, we will be showing excerpts, but there'll be 21 to 22 minute excerpts, and they'll be edited. Some things are edited out. We do not put some things on TV. Now, you know, people complain, well, you should put it on TV. Well, you're not the person that has to deal with the crazy people, okay? If you had to deal with the crazy people, you would do exactly what I do. Because they're, you know, people are crazy. That's all I'm going to say. Not everybody, thank God, but people are crazy. So what we did, we have the DVD of the Prophetic Summit. And I suggest you get the DVD because on the DVD, a lot of these speakers used PowerPoint pictures, and the pictures illustrated what they were talking about. It's, it's fantastic. Or if you just want to get the CD, Joel Richardson, Bill Cloud, myself, Dwayne Miller, Jonathan Kahn, Rabbi Kahn, all are teaching on this. And so we're going to make those available on Manifest for about a four-week time period, four weeks only, uh, Lord willing. And uh, we want you to get those. They are available now. So those are some things. Now, very quickly, if you don't have a Tuesday night place to be or... You could drive within 45 minutes or an hour. It would be worth your time to come to Omega Center International every Tuesday night. Now, we start service at 6.30, but if you're not here at 6.30, get there by 7 because we usually start preaching between 7 to 7.15. We have a great children's church ministry for ages 5 to 12. We'd love to, to have your kids in our children's ministry. They love Katie, who's my daughter-in-law. They love her and the team in there. They, these kids do not want to miss children's church every Tuesday night, children's ministry. We call it Omega Cubs, which is a great name for these kids. 
And so uh, that's coming up. Now, in the month of July, you still have to register if you're coming to Warrior Fest. Now, if you can't come, we need you to go on there and tell us you can't come so we can deduct the number of people coming and try to get a, as accurate a number as possible for those coming. Uh, we have some great speakers coming for that. You know, one of the speakers that I'm looking forward to, I've heard him for years, is Mario Morello, America's Revivalist. He's coming on, on Saturday morning. And then we've got Robert Mandu that's coming on Friday night. We've got Eddie James coming. First Hearts is coming. Remnant's going to be hosting uh, the, some, some of the uh, things going on there as well. And we're asking all of you to bring your kids, bring your young people, bring your teens from your church. Moms and dads, bring your individual children. I mean, this is summer and your kids will go back so changed and on fire for God. God touches these kids in these meetings. And then we have Louisville, Kentucky coming up. Louisville is a yearly meeting for 18 years straight. We go to the Billtown Road Evangel World Prayer Center with Bob Rogers and it is absolutely fabulous, fantastic. And so I want you to uh, come and be a part of that if you possibly can. And don't forget Huntington. We've moved Huntington. We're moving Huntington now to the early part of August. We always hit Marshall football games and we hit the barbecue weekend where everybody was doing barbecue and we hit the, all this other stuff was going on. So we moved it back and I think school has not started at that time, I think. And so we want to be able to get all the young people uh, as a part of this because Remnant's coming up on Friday and Saturday to join me. And so let's have a great meeting in Huntington, West Virginia. Now, one more thing. We still have some seats available for our partners tour to Israel and our main tour to Israel. It's filling up. And usually around August to September, we have a cutoff date. So you need to look and say, hey, we're wanting to go. This is the time to go. Let's just do it. And let's have a great Israel trip. We'll be taping on location over there, of course. It's a great trip. We'd love to have you be a part. All right, that's my word today. God bless you. Thank you for your time.